hello guys welcome to how to fix stack in this video guys let me show you the error first if I go to accounts here and then click on sign in options and if I want to set up the camera with the windows hello face the error is saying we could not find a camera compatible with windows hello face so in this video I will show you step by step how to troubleshoot this issue so let's start the process now so first of all we need to make sure that its driver has been installed in our windows so to confirm that guys we have to open the file explorer or you can directly open the this PC here then double click on your windows drive the logo you will see here the windows make sure you choose in the correct drive here where the window has been installed and thereafter we need to look for windows here you will see here windows and then we have to look for system 32 yes system 32 this option win bio plugins double click on this options and then click on face driver I will give this path into my description box to you you can directly press window plus R and hit this command in the run and you can directly open this okay once you have opened that we have to right click on hello face dot if inf and simply you need to install it and click on installed and if you have windows hello face migration do the same setting with that right click and simply it is install that like this if you have so once it is done we have to go to the second process now so we have to go come back here okay and again come back and this time we have to go to the windows bio database and we have to press shift and delete button but before that open the services open services here since this will throw some error and look for windows biometric service this option windows biometric service just stop it stop the process once now you can see it is not running so now you can delete it there will be no error press shift and delete button together and confirm yes and continue now it has been deleted now so again run this process okay now run it guys and this time you have to restart your system you have to restart your system here and then this option should come up and you are good to go your issue should fix after applying this method if your issue is still not resolved after restarting the system we have the third method for you so in the third method guys we will update the BIOS driver or the system drivers if any pending so let me open the Google Chrome here and from here we need to look for HP driver whatever laptop you are using HP driver download open the official link and open the CMD normally we can open that now from here guys you have to select the laptop okay and thereafter you have to put the serial number here so let me get the command here WMIC BIOS get serial number and hit enter once you hit enter the serial number will come up so let me pause the video for the serial number in order to hide that so once you have copied the serial number you have to paste it here 
and once you pasted the serial number here guys it will automatically detect the driver for you this happens because your windows driver is not up to date so make sure you go to the windows manufacturer and look for the process choose your operating system and you can choose this option detect my software and drivers it will automatically install the pending drivers here this option and you have to download okay the exe is downloaded now support and we have to run this process so this is done now just double click on its setup and run it now you will see the continue option click that option click on yes button when the prompt opens waiting action to be completed here you need to follow the same process with the other manufacturer like if you are using the HP or the Dell driver download go to the same way put the serial number there or the Lenovo laptop the process will be same just put here serial number now it is going to install now it's click on next agree and install the latest version yes install it now and click on installed now after installing this the HP support solution driver and uh, you can see it is the software it will automatically redirect us and it will start scanning the process to the pending drivers you have to wait here guys for some time so let me submit again here now this time this will open this now click on ok Now we can see please wait while we find your software and drivers and especially guys if you can't find any drivers on it go to BIOS and update the BIOS driver since this is basic input output devices and hardware is connected through this so make sure you updated the BIOS driver as well but first let them run the now detection was completed but you don't need any drivers if you are getting the same message here go to BIOS and if it is still saying it just install the BIOS update here since BIOS driver is very important here okay just run it and make sure you are connected with the charger before running the BIOS EXE and it should fix your issue guys and if still not fix your issue so we can try the repairing the windows run it as administrator click on yes and try sfc space slash scan now and let this run until it gets 100% the process will go to 100% so let me pause the video here so this command has been completed now you can see guys it has found the corruption but successfully repaired them so now we have to restart the system guys so after the restart guys open the CMD again okay and we have to hit this command here dismay I will give this command into my description box you can directly copy and paste here just let it run here again it will also go to 100% guys and thereafter you have to again restart your system and check it should fix your issue now if your issue is still not fixed guys you have left the last option fresh installation of windows 
whichever windows you are using and make sure your laptop or the system is compatible with windows hello face so this is how guys you can fix the issue hope your issue is fixed now if your issue is fixed then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching how to fix tech